In a lab in Korea, researchers are developing machines that move like men. Their most spectacular achievement so far, Albert Hubo. For dramatic effect, they gave him an Einstein head. They made its face animatronic so that it can form expressions, and they gave it a voice. Hello. Very nice to meet you. But don't let appearances deceive you. Albert Hubo is no Einstein. <laughs> it's very dumb. <laughs> There is no intelligence yet. The smart one is Albert Hubo's creator, Professor Jun Ho Oh. He's director of the Hubo Lab at KAIST, one of Korea's biggest research institutes. Hubo is short for humanoid robot. And for now, the focus here is not on creating smart robots. It's on developing mobility and stability. So robots can walk on two legs and move into our world. Eventually, uh, such kind of humanoid robot should help human in real life environment. That is ultimate goal. Professor Oh wants to build the world's most advanced humanoid robot. Because KAIST is an institute of learning, he has students to help him. Together they labor until the wee hours of the morning. Because Professor Oh is on a mission to beat the competition. Asimo, the world's most famous humanoid robot built by rival nation Japan. Asimo can climb stairs, it can run. It's taken Honda almost two decades and untold millions to build him. It was not easy, because walking on two legs is actually quite a feat, even for humans. The uh, human, for example, is naturally unstable. If human is stand, uh, stand, just uh, stand up without any the, um, active control, he will fall down. Hubo, if he is a stand up with a single leg, it is very unstable. So without some active regulation of his posture, then it will naturally fall down. The uh, walking means that we are fall down again and again and again. So the, we have to keep the stability all the time when you are walking. So that kind of thing is not trivial for the robotic system. Professor Oh began his mission to beat Osimo in 2002. He bypassed most of the R&D Honda went through by keeping things creative and simple. His team used off-the-shelf components, built others from scratch. Most important, they reduced a robot's step to its basics. And they ran tests again and again to build algorithms, complex mathematical formulas that give robots their stability. It, just like same as human, the, when you're born, you practice first. You fall down and you learn eventually. We did the same thing for the robots. In all, it's taken two million dollars worth of research to get this far. Now, when Albert Hubo moves, a gyroscope in his chest measures the motion of the upper body. In the legs, sensors measure forces and angles, and everything works together. So the system has continuous, automatic control of where the center of gravity is. When the stabilization is turned off, you can see the effect. When pushed, Albert Hubo sways. When the stabilization is turned on, he pushes back and rights himself. Remote controlled by a laptop, the robot can walk forwards and backwards, and in a pre-programmed pattern called an S-curve. Albert Hubo has independent control of each finger, so he can communicate in sign language. And those dainty finger movements come in handy when performing a traditional Korean dance. And when Albert Hubo meets his predecessor, simply named Hubo... Now, here is a traditional Korean bow. To the eye, the biggest difference with its Japanese competitor is the animatronic face. If we want to see the inside of his head, I will show you the... Uh, he might be angry for me, but the, I will show you inside. It is a hair, okay? A skull, I will peel off skull. Oops, yeah, oops. Uh, there is... There are many uh, small uh, servo motors, so the... Um, by pulling this string, uh, he can pull uh, the inside of skin and the outside you can see this kind of very natural movement. 
But really, the face is more art than science. The true measure of a bipedal robot is how it walks and how it runs. The team is still working on algorithms that will allow their creation to climb stairs and run, like Osimo. And Professor O knows he still has a way to go before his robots can take first place from Honda's Asimo. Asimo was the first humanoid. You know, they they were great and mechanically very well constructed, and they have very beautiful working algorithm. Professor O says he'll know he's been successful when Hubo runs faster than Asimo and stays on its feet. But before then, there are still many steps still to be taken.